for the very first time the Master of One podcast, and we're going to do a special toy unboxing just for you. This is a very visual thing, and we thought, what better way to intro ourselves into the world of YouTube than by doing an unboxing? So, Patrick, why don't you go ahead and take it away? That's right. So this is a, a probably a bit different than most unboxings in that the box is already open. But <laughs> I do want to be clear that the contents are unopened. I thought that maybe there would be a personal note or something, and it would be embarrassing for you to see that. There wasn't, so actually I feel embarrassed. <laughs> so that's, that's, well, here, that's where we're can at. I, can I ask a question? So I meant to ask this the other day on the episode. Why did you have to announce that, first of all? Second of all, why didn't you just throw a piece of tape back on top of it? No one would have ever had to know that. It's true. Can't afford tape because I bought this toy. <laughs> oh, that's okay. a great segue. So okay. basically, um, we, so Huckji, who's who's uh, very well known in the the custom toy industry, uh, mm -hmm. is closing up shop. It's a really sad thing, and we'll, we'll say a little bit more on that in a second. But in doing this, uh, he decided to release 10 of these customs, uh, these uh, thank you Customs built on the blank, which is his mm -hmm. platform. And um, so I got very lucky, honestly, to pick one up. I mean, they were probably a bit pricey. If you're not familiar with this world, because certainly there are people watching that don't collect, uh, it's a $500 toy. Uh, and that's um, I, I, it's kind of like part of me almost wants to say middle of the road, because certainly there's plenty of people producing stuff that are, are more than that. But, but I, I mean, it is, you know, it's middle of the road for Huck. I would still say that's an expensive designer toy. Yeah. yeah. It's not a $10 at target something. Yeah. It's more and more common. Yes. Uh, Obama. So, uh, just yeah, Ob no. Obama's big into pricing toys. Yeah. He's really driven the market up. Um, and for not, not Barack Obama, Shane Obama. Yeah, big, that, big uh, custom toy design. <laughs> we're doing expose on, expose on him later. So yeah. the, anyway, so it's a, a thank you blank, and it's an, I'm about to show it to you. So I, I, again, I've opened the box, uh, but we're going to go and unwrap it uh, for the first time uh, and then check it out. So uh, this is the guy right here. So uh, like anything else Huck sends, he, he, you know, he throws in stickers, and he throws in like business cards and all that kind of stuff. But not like mm -hmm. a personalized letter to you, But though. not a <laughs> – how <laughs> just weird, to right? Just to clarify. <laughs> So this guy right here. Oh, that's a um, sweet yeah, sticker. Skullhead. Yeah, that's that's really nice. I'm gonna give that to Luke. Uh, this is just like a thank you for your order, and then like how to reach mm -hmm. out to him, which is really nice. Yeah, there's Here's a little personal, personal note. note. Yeah, it's it's weirdly not handwritten, and I think he produced thousands of these. Or or he has super good handwriting. <laughs> yeah, and let me say this to anybody: if you're producing a product, stuff like this is really inexpensive to do, and makes a huge difference in the yeah. professionalism of the presentation. So do that stuff. Um, okay, cool. And then another rad sticker. That's gonna go mm. to Andrew. I got yeah. you. See, it's not. It's not for nothing. Okay, cool. Luke and then, already has that sticker on his wallet. I do. This is. This is the guy, right here. Uh, oh well, then I'll I'll trade him out. So this is him. He comes in a protective uh, shield. Looks great. Uh, this is uh, what he sleeps in at night. But by protective shield, you just mean uh, bubble wrap. Yeah, actually, it's just bubble wrap, and I have to take it off. So um, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and uh, – and then peanuts. So, by the way, if anybody wants these, I'm going to throw those. these on eBay later. You can bid for them. So I'm going to throw mm -hmm. these to the side. And uh, cool deal. So here's the guy. I'm going to rip into him. Um, I, I don't know, like, the clean way to do this. So Shower uh, first. I'm So a here's knife. the thing. I really don't want to take a knife to it. Because I feel like if it hit the toy, that'd be bad. I do want to go mm. and tell a quick story. I have gotten a blank from Huck before. In fact, I've got, you'll see a customized one from John Paul Kaiser, but that's the blank platform there. That's the re-blank. So I do have a couple of his. Um, that blank, fun story, that's the first one I bought. It was orange. Uh, it's like the one that I think Luke's about to show you. Yeah. And uh, dropped it out of the car and broke the leg off of it before I even got it to the house. And uh, the problem is the post for the leg is molded into the body. There's another one over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and there so I was like, I need someone to fix it. So I hit up John Paul Kaiser and was like, hey, can you fix this? And then also like do your thing to it. And it's awesome. There's an Instagram picture. And I'll try to throw that into the show notes. So have him open. Uh, now, here's how you know something's fancy. Oh, you know it's what I just realized? Now that, that we do this, yeah. when we talk about the stuff that we're doing, that we get, we can just show it. Yeah. I just, I, I was kind of, <laughs> I, no, I genuinely don't know if you're being serious. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Like, I was like, oh, from we now on, that? like, I can the show that Ninja video. Turtle that Luke hates right there. Ugh. Yeah. 
So uh, Mitch Hedberg would tell you that it's fancy because you open it and it still ain't open. So here's this guy right here. I'm gonna go and pull it out. Um, all right. <laughs> Too soon, bro. Yes, I know. Sorry, yeah. guys. All right, and so here is the guy here. So um, it's uh, so this is a custom done by him. It's the uh, it says Mama's Boy across the nice. stomach, which hopefully uh, I think we're gonna have. There's some little extra stuff right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then it says, uh, and I, honestly, it's a bit depressing, but it says game over across the oh, knuckles on the hands. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I mean, that's cool, but... Oh. It's, like, really sad. And then, and by the way, these are, like, really, like, the head is very heavy, so I feel like that it's just going to, like... But yeah, just, on the just back, don't let Mackenzie hold it. That's the big thing. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I want to make sure we get that. Yeah. Awesome. It's glow in the dark. There's something on the top. It, well, it's, like, this, like... There's not. Oh yeah, I mean, it's his, it's his symbol. Uh, it's, it's his symbol. Oh, oh symbol you mean above? You mean there? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, sorry. I think you mean like the hair like whipping on the top, and then um and then on the bottom, it's uh it's signed, and then it's the uh, five of ten. So this is middle of the road. Bye. So if you see one going up on eBay that's five of ten, don't come after me. Someone has <laughs> obviously stolen it from my house. So actually, just buy it and bring it back. That's what you should do. Mm -hmm. um, and then yeah, then just and then he won't pay you for it. It'll just be. A con and then if you see it on there again, buy it again. <laughs> Bring it back. I obviously didn't mean it. Uh, yeah, and the whole thing is glow in the dark. So initially, if this had come in like a box or something like that, I probably would have left it in the box. Because it's in the bag, then I'll go ahead and uh, I'll display it. And it'll go back there in the case in its place. Uh, I do have to be a bit careful. I, my only fear with these is that I'll walk in and it'll be just like laying on its head or something like that. So, Top but heavy. it's great again with the thank you message and the hey, game over. And can then I, it has. Can I give you a, a tip? Oh, there's his little tail. Last thing, there's the tail that will nice. go on the guy to like complete it. Can so. I give you a tip then, especially for some of these special ones, like the custom ones? Yeah. Just go spend ten dollars like on Amazon, maybe not even that, and get an action figure stand. Yeah. And it clips to the back. Like, it doesn't clip clip, but, like, it'll kind of encompass it. It's like a little and, C. Yeah. And it will it, – it'll keep it from toppling over. Um, mm -hmm. And then you don't have to worry about a $500 toy, especially one that heavy falling over in your shelf and smashing the yeah. shelf yeah. itself and then all your other toys going. Well, not to mention – and don't get me wrong. Very, very nice. Um, but – it is hand done, and so you do get the mm -hmm. sense that you could probably damage that pretty easily if you weren't being careful. Like, sure. if this rubs up against something, it's probably just going to pull the paint off of it. So, um, so I definitely want to be very careful. Uh, so, no, that's that's a that is a great uh, tip from the master, and yeah. uh, that's one I didn't know. So, actually, uh, I'll need. To, I'm about to head out now. Uh, and then I'll, that's something I'll need to go and pick up so I can display this properly. But the glow in the dark is awesome. I, when I opened the box the first night, I remember I was leaving the room and I turned off the light and you could just see this like aura coming up from the box. Nice. Uh, Did you feel a bit like Indiana Jones? <laughs> yeah, I, I felt uh, more like uh, the briefcase. In, um, uh, wait, wait. Huh? You felt like the actual briefcase? <laughs> I felt a lot <laughs> like a square piece of leather. You were carrying a lot Very of baggage. Weird metaphor. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so, boo. Um, boo. You're right. Anyway. The briefcases don't carry a ton of baggage. I, I agree. Good point. Um, okay, so that, that's the piece right there, and, and again, it's it's a super cool piece. I'm I'm very happy to have it. Uh, certainly, they're sold out by now. Uh, I haven't yeah. seen. You know, I've been checking like if someone's gonna throw one up on eBay or something like that, just because you know I'm curious. Um, that being said, nobody has, and and my guess is people probably won't. I mean, this is uh, you know Huck himself described it as a piece representing the end of an era, and uh, so I, I I think the people that got them are really gonna hold on to them. So um, it's a really cool. Thing that I'm excited to show off to people, not in a like, hey, check out what I spent $500 on, but in a like a with a deep appreciation for what Huck has done. So I think sure. on that yeah. note, I think that this is a really great opportunity that, uh, especially I think from you, Luke, given uh, your background in, in uh, customizing toys and painting toys sure. and those type of things, to, to maybe get an idea of your thoughts on, on this happening with Huck and him making this decision. Yeah, I think... Um it's first of all, it's sad. He's so prolific. Uh, he was such, I mean, he's been doing it forever. He's been one of the guys who's been doing it the longest. Um, and I think he probably is, is just tired. It takes a lot of work to like manufacture and think of the designs and, and, and reinvent your, your line all these times. And, um, sure. 
yeah, I think he, I think he's just worn out once a, a, a normal job, whatever that means, a quote unquote normal job and, and not have to kind of do everything himself. Um, yeah. a lot of people say it's, it's really hard. Uh, he would know better than anybody because he's been doing it for so long. Um, a lot of people say it makes room for other people in the industry. That's true. But at the same time, he knows this industry. And if he's getting out because it's slow and you're not making it, then, you know, maybe there's something to that. Uh, the other thing is um, we've seen other people do this. Like Joe Ledbetter has kind of gone into other art forms, the same character styles, the same designs, but uh, he's not really doing many custom toys anymore. And a lot of these guys that we know have branched out into other art forms instead of just toys. So maybe this is dying. Uh, I mean, we know Huck, he's going to be fine. He's going to be creative. He knows how to solve problems. He knows how to, uh, I mean, he, this dude just totally. oozes creativity. Yeah. So I think he's going to, he's going to be fine no matter what he does. Um, but I think he just needs a break. Just kind of get back into normal life. And, uh, you know, it's sad. It, it's definitely sad. He was one of those guys that I saw toys and I was like, man, I want to do that. But hope not. We'll see sure. more. Plus, he's we'll a phenomenal more. dancer. So, yes. yeah. So if we don't see him, you know, if he does stop toys completely, then uh, So You Think me, You Can Dance is still casting. And that's so You Think Me Can Dance. <laughs> so You Think Me Can so Dance. So You Think Me Can Talk? It's the Scottish version. It's different than the American version. Slight different titling. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I think all that's dead on. You know, it, I, it, I think there's a bit of fear with the whole thing just in the idea sure. of, like, Huck stopped. And there's a lot of people trying to be him, and so it almost feels like, oh, gosh, should I just go and give up now? Like, if, you know, yeah. so I think it's a, a bit of I mean, and he says in the, in the email that he sends that the industry just doesn't have the support that it used to have as far as, like, sure. uh, the, the market being there. And it's a tough thing to come to terms with. Um, and especially when you're in the position of you have a family that you have to support. I mean, you, you don't yeah. – uh, so, honestly, the, the other side of that is I, I think it shows – uh, something that we know to be true, but that Huck has an incredible amount of uh, maturity and sense mm -hmm. to be able to say, you know what, this is a really tough decision, um, but I have to do what's best for me. And yeah. um, so that it, it is tough, but I, you know, obviously he's, he's going to continue to do great stuff. And certainly this is, you know, I, I don't believe that I'm holding the last toy that Huck G's no. ever going to produce. Um, so, yeah, uh, Andrew, do you have any thoughts about the situation? Uh, you know, I think it's I think it's been said. I mean, I'll just echo exactly what you guys said, and um, yeah, it, it you know as much as you say that that phrase, I think you said it on the episode like two episodes ago. You said something about if if Huck can't make it, then who can that that sure. deal? Um, I think I think he hit this point where he was just. I think he has some other priorities that he wasn't necessarily because I read the email too, and not that, not that he was necessarily um, he he didn't announce what that other stuff was, but I think he knows what's next. I don't think he's ready to announce it. So um, can Huck, or if you know if Huck can't make it, who can? I think Huck could make it, and he was making it, but I think he decided yeah. to make it in another place. Sure. And so, um, yeah, I mean, I'm not worried about him. It is sad. It is like, man, because he, because the last year he really geared up. I mean, he got super busy in the, within the mm -hmm. last 12 months and he produced and produced and produced. So it's, um, yeah, you know, good for him and good for you for getting one. When you told me that you got one, I was kind of blown away. So uh, congratulations. Um, but yeah, oh, we wish funny. him the best I of didn't luck. even... Yeah, absolutely. What's funny is the I didn't even check. The best of Huck. The, mm, no. Thanks. Uh, what's funny is I didn't even check the edition size when I purchased it or anything. It was just, if Huck's saying goodbye and he's got something for sale, I'm going to support the guy. And sure. then, uh, so I actually bought it, went back and read it, and then saw it was 1 of 10 and all that kind of stuff. But it, it it's just one of those things. of, And I think that that's a, 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 a really great note for anybody listening. If you like someone's art, support them. 
especially yeah. if you want him to keep making art. You know, I, I, I like, uh, you know, to believe what you said, Andrew, that he's just already got something bigger that's lined up that he's going to jump to, and certainly he'll always be creating. Um, but that being said, support people when they're making stuff, and then because, you know what, you want them to keep making stuff, and that's how you get them to keep doing that. So um, awesome. So I that uh, covers it for this. So, Andrew, do you, yep. uh, you want to close us out? Sure. Uh, first time anyone's seen us do this. That's interesting. That's going to be it for this episode, uh, this little special, little mini episode. I don't even know what you want to call this, this unboxing. Um, but yeah. make sure you check us out on mofonepodcast.com where you can find show notes and links to all sorts of other things. I don't know. There's not going to be show notes and links to this, yeah, is there? down here. Sure. Know. Okay, great. We'll throw stuff. It, it'll be below us. It's below us. Um, this is new to us, so uh, <laughs> go do that. Um, check out the website. There's all sorts of great stuff there. There is an incredible archive where you can go listen to our episode with Huck, um, where mm-hmm. you can listen to all sorts of other toy designers if that's what you're into, uh, poster artists, designers, illustrators, uh, creatives of all types. Um, it's just been a really, really cool ride up to this point, so go check out those those interviews. And uh, then while you're there, you can also subscribe uh, to our YouTube channel and to our iTunes. And yep. uh, once you subscribe, that helps us out a lot but then rate and review the show that's helpful to yep. us as well um so go ahead and do that and what else patreon go to patreon.com slash of one podcast to contribute financially to the show uh for as little as five bucks you get the blooper level and there's always mm-hmm. some fun ridiculous stuff in there i can only imagine what may or may not happen now that we have video added to this uh deal we'll never but, know but uh the blooper i've seen level- a lot of nipples since we started this show <laughs> <laughs> that's true um, and now you can ironically, too. ironically, oh, none no. of yours because yours are always below the desk. <laughs> it um, is something magical. But uh, that's neither here nor there. But we uh, go just go and, and subscribe, go and be a part of that. You can also join the Slack channel where you can be a part of the conversation every single day. Go to mofonepodcast.com slash Slack uh, to be in there. And then just follow us on social media, M of One Podcast, on all the different platforms. I think that's pretty much it. So I think we're going to get out of here. I'm Andrew. I'm Patrick. I'm Luke. Peace out. Bye. Hold on to your butts.